Hi everyone, welcome back to the Cocktail Vlog. I'm Steve the Bartender and today I'm showing you how to make cream of coconut. It's an essential cocktail ingredient in many drinks such as the pina colada, the painkiller. Uh, it can be used in batitas, uh, which I'll follow up in my, one of my subsequent videos to actually utilize this particular ingredient. Now quite some time ago, I think it may have been in the Long Island Ice Tea video, I said if I got 2000 likes in 24 hours, then I would do this recipe. I apologize, I've had many people asking about it. That was about three months ago and I'm yet to do it. And once you actually see how simple this recipe is, um, it'll probably annoy you even more. Uh, and I also got those 2000 likes in like an hour. So I actually should have done this video a long, long time ago. I apologize guys. So extremely simple. This is gonna be quite a, a short video, but make sure you stay tuned for my next video and I'll show you how to use it in a different cocktail. It is 400 milliliters, so one can, of full fat coconut milk. And then turn it on a low heat. Then I've got 375 grams of white sugar, which is about one and three quarter cups. That's a lot of sugar in the ratio to the uh, coconut milk. And then I've just got a pinch, pinch of salt. And that's pretty much it. <laughs> so if you want to, you can also add 12 grams of coconut powder. Uh, the only thing is uh, I recommend utilizing a stick blender to mix it all through and it'll intensify that coconut flavor. So I found this incredibly simple recipe on, I think it was artofdrink.com. Uh, they've got some really great content on, the, on their website. So I'll link to that in the description below. And they also did the math on how cheap this is in comparison to Coco Lopez. Uh, it works out to about six and a half cents per serve in comparison to Coco Lopez, which is about 25 cents. So if you're running a bar, you can save, if you're smashing out painkillers and pina coladas, um, you could save thousands of dollars just by making it yourself and you can see how, how easy it is. So you don't need to bring it to the boil, you just need to keep it on low heat, just until the sugar combines. So once the sugar dissolves, it goes from that uh, solid white color of the coconut milk to more of a, um, a transparent, simple syrup. So to begin with, it looked like coconut milk. And now if I transfer it, you can see it's more transparent. And it looks like Coco Lopez, except without all the additional preservatives and other stuff that's in it. So the best way to store this is in a mason jar of some description. Um, otherwise, if you are gonna use it straight away, you're gonna use it in a party, let it cool and then transfer it into, I might put it straight to the jar actually. Probably makes sense. Let it cool uh, if you're going to put it into the um, squeeze container. Once it cools down, store it in the fridge. Now, I'm sorry, so a lot of people are going to say, like, how long does this store for? I don't know. Uh, the tin of coconut milk says once opened, lasts three days, but I have heated it as well, so I'm assuming it's going to last a little bit longer. But generally, you can make this in a small batch. You see, there's not a lot there. So use it in a few days, use it in up to a week and that should be fine. So if you wanna see a cocktail recipe utilizing the DIY cream of coconut, then make sure you like and subscribe. Stay tuned for my next video. And I'll see you soon. I'll just taste it in the next video. Oh, come on. So if you want to see a cocktail recipe utilizing the DIY, DIY, DIY. what just happened? <laughs> so if you want to see an upcoming vet, so if you want to use, uh, <laughs> <laughs> so if you want to see a cocktail recipe, the recipe, so if you want to see a cocktail recipe, fucking hell.
Cooking? Cooking with Stavros.